Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Almost forgot my name there for a second. And I'm coming to you on my 54th birthday. At least that's when I'm recording this. And I am doing my recap of last week's games for the NFL. And I'm doing my picks for week seven. Which um, may prove to be quite interesting. Now, last week, if you followed along with the sportsman, you know that I went seven and seven. You suck! A very unimpressive seven and seven. Again, there are lower forms of life that could get seven games right out of 14 in an NFL weekly schedule. But, you know, I mean, it's all for fun, right? <laughs> oh, I got a call. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. I did not say ten big ones. I said ten, as in ten dollars. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you know, listen. I mean, who thought the Vikings were going to lose to the Falcons, right? You know, you got to cut me some slack there. I'm good for it. I got you, man. I got you. You know I'm good for it. Yeah, well, the ten. Not not the ten big ones. No. No. That was not the bet. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Hey, listen. I'm kind of in the middle of something. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bookies. But anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, I was seven and seven. And on the year, that brings me to 52 and 39 overall which is only just over 57% correct. So, not, uh, you know, not what you would look, look for, ideally, you know. So anyway, let's get into these picks. The Thursday night game, we will begin with the Thursday night game, and that is the, and let me just show you what that's going to be, the Giants and the Eagles. Now again, this is a close one. It depends on which Giants team shows up and which Eagles team shows up. But, in general, it's in Philadelphia. I am going to go with the Eagles in this one. Take the Eagles over the Giants. I, uh, you know, I don't have a high degree of confidence in that pick, but if, if my hand is forced, I'm going to say Eagles is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. The, now we start the Saturday, there is Sunday, there are no Saturday games this week. We start the Sunday games and you've got the uh, Bills at the Jets. <laughs> yeah, who are you going to take? I'm taking the Bills. I'm going with the Bills, even though they got really stomped on by Kansas City last week. But you're going up against the lowly, lowly Jets. Yeah, the Jets. I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do when the Jets have a bye week. Because, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're a guaranteed correct pick every week. So, the next one we have is the, um, Lions and the Falcons. And you know what? I think that in this one, I'm going to go with the Lions. Now, remember last week when I said that Matt Patricia's job was on the line if he didn't beat the Jaguars? Well, he did. He went out and he beat the Jaguars. And I broke that because, hey, 
you know what? I watched NFL Today on CBS and their insider, Jason Lockamfora, said the very same thing, that he was going to be fired if he lost to the Jags. So I think he conveyed that to his team. And also, let's just say he probably needs to keep winning at least a few more games in a row. So yeah, go with the Lions on that one. The, uh, the Falcons, you know, they're still a mess. They are still an incredible mess. The next one we've got is the Washington football team and the Cowboys. And uh, the Washington football team is home in this one. But I'm, I'm really going to go with the Cowboys. Even though the Cowboys looked horrible against the Cardinals, the Washington football team, you know, every week I watch the Ron Rivera show, and every week he tries to convince me that, hey, he's got a handle on things, and things he thinks things will get better, and he seems to know what he's talking about, but you know what? And they never win, so. Now, the next uh, game we've got is the Panthers at the Saints. And I am going to go reluctantly here with the Saints. I don't have a real high degree of confidence that the Saints are going to pull this one off. But the Panthers... They just got beat last week at the hands of my Bears, which thankfully I picked the Bears to win. I went against my usual MO of picking the Bears to lose because if I had picked the Bears to lose, well, I would have been six and eight. Ain't nobody wanted to see that. So yeah, I, I think you go with the Saints there in that game. Now we have the um, Browns and the Bengals. And you know what? This one, I am going to go with the Browns because the Browns should win it. They have one of the higher scoring offenses in the NFL. But, and the Bengals have a terrible defense. But Burrow always, always keeps these guys in a game. And I just have this nightmare of this game coming down to the last, you know, quarter, maybe the last minute of the last quarter, because these guys have Baker Mayfield, and in my opinion, he is not nearly as good as Burrow, but the Bengals, like I said, they got a terrible defense, they don't have a lot of weapons around Burrow, these guys do have some offensive weapons, they are a high octane scoring offense, um, So, and they have Miles Garrett on their defense. So I'm going to go with the Browns in this one. But the Bengals, man, they're right there. They're right there. I think they're maybe two years away from being a real good team, uh, depending on what they do with that two years. Um, so the next one is the um, Packers at the Texans. And despite the fact that the Packers got stomped by Tampa Bay last week. I am still going to go with the Packers in this one. Still taking the Packers. Aaron Rodgers against these guys. You know, Romeo Crennel. He lost in his first game as the head coach. No. Not happening. Now, you have the... This one, this is the burn game. Because it always burns me. The Steelers. I always pick against the Steelers. And they always seem to win. And guess what? I'm picking against the Steelers again. I'm going with the Titans. The Titans, I mean, I can't pick against the Titans. I can't. They have a high-scoring offense. They have a really good defense. You know? And they play well against the Steelers. And they play well against really everybody. So, the Steelers... I, I mean, I, I, last week when the Steelers won and proved me wrong again, I said, okay, you made a believer out of me. But then I saw this game and I said, no, you didn't make a believer out of me. So we're going to go with the Titans there. Um, next one you got is the Seahawks at the Cardinals. 
you know what? Um, in this one, I am going to go with the Cardinals. Yeah, a little surprising, probably, that I'm going with the Cardinals. But the Seahawks, they have a terrible defense, and they rely on um, Russell to uh, their main man, Russ, to get them enough points to win every game. And sooner or later, that is not going to work anymore. And I don't think it's going to work against the Cardinals this week because the Cardinals are showing a lot of spunk. They're quite a good team. Um, they're going to be right in there. They're going to be right in the discussion all the way down to the wire, I think. So, yeah. Now you got the... Chiefs at the Broncos. Now you think maybe because the Broncos are home, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. I'm yeah, that's what well, that is what I'm going to do. The Broncos could be at home, they could be on Mars. I don't really care. I'm going with the Chiefs in this one. So yeah, the Broncos are still they are a mess. They're rebuilding. They have injuries. They have issues. A team like that is not going to beat the Chiefs. A good team might beat the Chiefs, but the Broncos, I don't really, I, not, I'm not putting them there. So, the next one we have is the Jaguars at the Chargers. And the Jaguars have just fallen apart. They started off the year, they were trying to show people, hey, we traded some good players away and we didn't get much back, but we're still a good team and we're still going to fight tooth and nail, but no. You can fight tooth and nail all you want, but, you know, uh, Justin Herbert and the Chargers are coming for you. Yeah. Jags, get out. So, that leaves us with three more games, my friends. And that, and one of those games is the 49ers at the Patriots. And I am going with the Patriots. Even though these are not your father's Patriots or really your older brother's Patriots. But I'm still going to go with them over the 49ers. The 49ers have shown a little bit of inconsistency, shall we say. One week they're good. The next two weeks they're bad. Then they're good again. Who knows? Uh, but I think the Patriots... You know, with Belichick, he's going to have them as ready as they can possibly be. So, now you got the Buccaneers and the Raiders. The Raiders. You know what? In this one, even though the Buccaneers were very impressive in beating Green Bay, I'm going to go with the Raiders. I just got a gut feeling about this. The Raiders, they have a good offense. They uh, are playing... Decent defense, decent enough. And I still think that Brady, like a lot of the, you know, the Buccaneers, two of their touchdowns against Green Bay were, um, one was directly a pick six that they intercepted Rodgers. And the other one was um, they intercepted him and they got it down deep in Green Bay's end. So I'm not sure that Brady is totally acclimated just yet and feeling at home there. And that is going to leave us with, guess what? It's going to leave us with the Monday night game. And guess what the Monday night game is? Oh, yeah. Rams, Bears. And the Rams are home in this one. And you know what? I'm going with the Rams. Because, uh, well, there's two reasons. One is that I still think that the Bears are doing all of this with smoke and mirrors. I mean, they just are. Um, they, uh, yeah, I mean, they're five and one. That's very impressive. They've won five out of their first six games. I would never have guessed they would do that. But I still think they're doing it with smoke and mirrors. They probably at best should really be three and two. Um, or three and three, three and three at best, I think, but they're five and one. So, hey, that's great. Once you play good teams that are legitimately good, 
that's going to start to show. So I think the Rams are a good enough team that they should beat the Bears. Hopefully they don't, but I think they should. And also, as a viewer pointed out to me, and as I have been realizing, if you pick the Bears to lose and then they win, you set up a no-lose situation for yourself. Because if the Bears lose, you get the game right. And if the Bears win, hey, the Bears win. So that is, that's what I got for you on the picks. Now, as far as the um, lock of the week, I got the Bills over the Jets. That's the lock. And really, between you and I, as long as the Jets play, like, every week except their bye week, that's going to be my lock of the week, probably. Because I don't even think there's a team that's bad enough that it wouldn't be the lock of the week for them to beat the Jets. And my upset special, I think I'm going to say that the upset special got to be the Raiders over the Buccaneers. I mean, don't you think? I don't know who's favored in that game, but I would assume it's going to be the Buccaneers. But anyway, that's going to be my upset special. So that's my, uh, that's my picks for the week. How do you like those? Leave me a thumbs up if you like them. If you have differing games, hey, leave a comment below. If you, if you don't want to comment on the games, you can say happy birthday, Mr. Sportsman Z. I'll take anything. Comments are comments, you know. YouTube doesn't care. So, um, yeah, that's what I got, and I'm sticking to it. And so for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.